Hello all and welcome to Steph John's Stuff. I'm your host, Stefan, and this channel is named for what apparent reason you're gonna learn about it later on. And I figured, hey, what better way to introduce a channel than to awkwardly try to introduce yourself with a TMI tag. I may be a little late on this, but you know what? I want to form a connection with you, and I feel like this will bring us closer together, and it will be amazing. So, you know what? Let's begin this awkward, embarrassing, and fantasticness of a tag. Question one, what are you wearing? Um, clothes and more clothes. I got a shoe and socks and random crap like that. Question two, have you ever been in love? Uh, I don't know. If I have been in love, I want to say I have, but I don't think, if I knew what love was, and if I ever was in love, then I think I'd already be, I'd still be in a relationship. But right now, I'm single, and I'm forever alone and I can't. Mm. I sure make me feel bad, Tag. This is only two questions in and I'm already self-conscious. Eh, well, I'm on YouTube, so that's a thing. Three, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Yeah, I'm not gonna go into details, but it just took a while for me to figure out that we actually broke up because I was like, oh, hey, I'm gonna suddenly tell you that we're breaking up, and then I was like, okay? And it took me like three times for her to get the message across. It's like, yeah, no, we're, we're not dating anymore. I was like, oh. And that was like literally the biggest facepalm moment of my life. And yet I can't, I'm just not even. Or how tall are you? I feel like this is like, am I getting reported to go to jail? I didn't do anything yet. But let's see, last time I checked, I'm not doing it in centimeters because even though I'm in Europe, I'm still got the American numeric metric system. My brain space. Height, yes. 5'11, five, 5 five feet, 11 inches. Not quite six feet, but good. I guess I don't know why I'm doing this. Anyway, I feel like I'm gonna go. Uh, uh. How much do you weigh? If you thought I was self conscious before, I'm not gonna compare it to kilograms because I don't know how to do that. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure I've heard of it, but I don't know. I just, I, no. Guesstimation. Last time I was in the States was like 180. So I'm, and since I've been working out a little, I'm gonna go with like 175, maybe? 175 pounds? Any tattoos? No, but I want to get some like Chinese characters. I know that's like weird, but it's like Chinese characters going down the side. I mean, I, I'd like to get, I we used to want to get like a tribal on my arm, but then it was like something with like do being a doctor and you can't really have anything going past like the sleeve right here or something with that. Any piercings? No, don't have any desire to get them either. OTP, one true pair. Who do I think it is? Well, I have two. I love Survivor. So, from Survivor, Rob Mariano, Amber Burke, beautiful. And they're the only pair to get to the end together. And Amber won and Rob won later. It was amazing. However, my fictional one is from Down Abbey. Yes, Down Abbey is amazing. It is Anna and Bates, and they've been through so much, but they're so amazing together, and I love them. Okay, let's move on. Ah, favorite show. I think my favorite show ever would have to be Scrubs, though I do like Big Brother, Survivor, Amazing Race, a lot of other comedy shows like that. Favorite pants. My high school marching band. Yeah, Blacksburg High School. Leaving you. Love you forever, because I'm a bandy. Something you miss. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. Favorite song. I'm gonna go with, like, it changes, like, a lot. Right now, uh, Taylor Swift, shake it off, because you gotta shake it up. Shake it up, I don't sing. And there's a good reason for that. How old are you? Easy question, I'm 18. And a half. Mm, yeah, the extra half makes so much better. What's my zodiac sign? Cause I was born in May. I'm a May baby. I am a Gemini. And I believe, well, this is just like my thing. I think a Gemini, somewhere in the world, has a twin like I think everyone else in the world. Not related, but I'm pretty sure I've already found my twin at least once. And then I heard like, I used to work at like a summer camp and someone told me I looked like a YouTuber called Anthem. I haven't looked him up, but I'm gonna say, okay. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comment section down below. Do I look like someone, you know? I'm a quality filmmaker and I just realized I missed out two questions when I was doing it and I was editing it just recently. So you know what? I'm gonna try to finish those best I can right now. So let's check. I don't have good lighting, I'm sorry. <laughs> Quality you look for in a partner. They are a good person, they're just nice and easy to get along with. That's the main thing. Plus we have like similar interests, so you know that's just no big thing. Favorite quote. Um favorite quote would have to be attitude of a person is the difference between an ordeal and an adventure. And that's honestly something you got to like take to heart. I mean if you hate something with like a dear passion chances are if you have to go through that for a while it's gonna be an ordeal but if you open yourself up to like at least try it and maybe enjoy to like it you're gonna have an awesome adventure that's something i want you to take away i have really bad lighting so you know what back to the normalness of a video who's your favorite actor no doubt robert downey jr batman is a stud muffin and amazing plus he was on snl for a period of time so i already idolize him enough for being iron man but he's a 
amazing. If I got to meet him, that would be awesome. Favorite color, hoipul. Loud music or soft music? Loud music all the time. Then you get to like dance and scream and no one can judge you unless they walk in or you're filming a YouTube video. Yeah. Where do you go when you're sad? I go to my room and I go on YouTube when I get sad. I also do that when I get happy. Man, I'm on YouTube quite a bit. How long does it take you to shower? If it's a nice comfortable shower, I'll take half an hour because I love my hot water. If I have to do it quickly, it can be like three minutes. Quick shower, done and out. How long does it take for you to get ready in the morning? It takes me about an hour. If I have to leave by six, I wake up at five, get everything done, and it was like, ugh. I, I'm a long process. Ever been in a physical fight? Does being in a fight with your little brother count? Because if so, yes. If not, then no, because I'm a wimp. Turn on. Just a nice person and someone who can make me laugh and I can make them laugh. Turn off. If you're cocky, if you're like cocky, for just the reason of being cocky and stroke your ear, then no, mm-mm, mm-mm, that, that is not. What is the reason I joined YouTube? Well, my vlogging channel, No Way But No Way, yeah, plug here, No Way But No Way, I started it because I wanted to record my adventure in Norway, which was gonna be for two years, and I was leaving everyone behind, so I wanted to, like, record my journey. I'm, like, what, at 200-something right now, so I'm already surprised myself, but daily vlogging was something I wanted to do. I saw someone do it, I was like, okay, why not? Now I'm making, like, main channel video. It's just like, I want to be creative. I want to maybe one day make YouTube a job. So you know what? Hopefully if I don't suck, I can continue. Even if I do suck, I'm continuing. Fears. Um, okay, well, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but when I was like, what, seven or something? You know Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Yeah, that wasn't the one I was talking about. I mean, the old one, the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That movie freaked me out as a kid and I know like looking back this the special effects were like all fake and like the thing that freaked me out the most was like Violet and when she turned into like a blueberry that freaked me out for life and I can never and even though I know it's fake I mean it just creeps me out so much uh, last thing that made you cry ah homesickness yeah yeah that's a tough thing. Last time you said you love someone. Uh, yesterday to my mom. Ah, da, 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 da. Meaning behind your YouTube name. I'm gonna say both of them. My vlogging channel, No Way But Norway. When I was still in Blacksburg, we were at this taco store called Moe's, and I was asking everyone, um, because we were in theater and we were eating tacos, okay, I'm gonna be making a YouTube channel in Norway, what should I call it? And then Molly, a good friend, said, No Way Norway. It was like, I like the name, I like the wordplay, but I'm gonna make it sound less offensive, so I said, No Way But Norway. And I liked it, it was nice and catchy, and it was, Nice to the point. It might be on a shirt one day. And then this one, stuff Sean's stuff. Reason behind that is like when I did track my junior year for like one semester, so don't think that I'm like a really good runner, because probably not, even though I'm training for a marathon. One of the seniors, I told him my name, he, had, he thought I said Steph Sean. I was like, no, it's Steph in it. He was like, you know, I, I like Steph Sean. And it's like, and then from then on out, whenever I was in track, people called me Steph Sean. And I was like, you know what? It's an awesome name, so I'm just gonna stick to it. And you know what? It's awesome, because I used it later in a YouTube channel name, like there, there, somewhere. Last book you read. Uh, um, my last book I read is actually in my backpack. Got this thing. Mm. No, my jacket. It's going. It's gone. Okay, and it might be back a little, but my textbook. Yes, it looks like a comic book, but you know what? It's amazing, and I love it because it mixes like comedy with like learning stuff, and it's amazing. And it's got like a ode to Robert Downey Jr. in the background. And I find it amazing. Book you are currently reading? Winnie the Pooh in Norwegian, because I'm learning Norwegian, and uh, you know what? You got to start somewhere. And you know what? Winnie the Pooh. Awesome. Last show you watched, uh, I would have to be Downton Abbey. Last person you talked to, my grandma. Relationship between you and the person that you last texted. She's my mama. I love you, mom. Dad. I'm her son. Favorite food. Uh, I'm gonna get crap for this. Chinese food. I love it. I love my shrimp lo mein. I love my General house chicken. Love it, just love it all to pieces, and I can't really get good Chinese food here. Or at least I've only checked like one place, I don't know. Place you want to visit? I want to visit Sydney, Australia. Last place you were? Here? In the University of Oslo? Oslo, Norway? Planet Earth? Milky Way Galaxy? Do you have a crush? Yes, celebrity in real life. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you who I have a crush on. Last time you kissed someone? When I left for Norway, which was like, what, six months ago, so. Long time ago. Last time you were insulted, this morning actually, so that was an interesting thing. Favorite flavor of sweet? Sugar. Because I love my sweets. The main thing that makes something sweet is sugar. Whether it's like fruit sugar, or like sugar sugar, you don't know, but sugar is amazing to me. What instrument do you play? Okay, be ready to have your minds blown. Got my trombone. Yes, I played the trombone. Played it for like seven years. It was amazing, and I rocked it. Except not. <laughs> 
And then I also played trumpet for a while. And I'm tr I was trying to learn guitar before I left. That didn't really pan out. Favorite piece of jewelry? I'll go with ring because I have one and I think it's cool. But I'm not wearing it right now, so I don't know what to say. Plus, you know, a nice ring is always nice. Last sport you played? By played, do you mean running? Because if running, then I've been running for like a while, like a month. So I'm running, let's go with that. Last song you sang? Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I feel so idiotic because I don't know. I'm gonna go with Shake It Off from Taylor Swift. Shake it. Oh, yeah, because I already did that earlier in the video. Shake it off. And the lights are off. I'm scared. I need you on. Hold on. Lights returned. I am amazing. Favorite chat up line. I'm gonna go with Pick Up. I once saw a rainbow that was this big. Now you're a pro at picking girls up, bro. Or chick. I don't. I don't judge. Have you ever used it? Oh god, no. Do you think if I used it, I would be less single? No. I'd be even more single than I am right now. Last time you hung out with anyone, let's go with Friday, I guess? Who's your- Oh, finally, we're at the last one I know. I've been talking for- Oh god, I've been talking forever. Okay, you know what? Let's wrap this up as best we can. And beauty, who should answer these next? You know what would be nice if you guys also did the TMI tag? Because I want to know about all about you so we can be as close as we possibly can be. So, tweet me your TMI tag. Who knows? Maybe I'll follow you. On top of that, why don't you just follow me on all that social media goodness? Oh, it's in the, like, the description place. I also hope you liked the video. Don't forget to, like, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share. So you know what? As many people can find this as possible. Because it's like an awkward family. And I don't know how to sign out. This marker. I'm gonna sign out how I do on my personal channel. Marker and some twist up stuff. Steph Sean, signing out.